Okay, guys, we got the PTO lever removed. You can see this is a shift fork right here, and it goes up here to the main shaft, and that is what engages the PTO, and it is stuck. It will not move. Um, I've tried to tap on it. It, it I don't know if the, it's worn and stuck in between gears or what exactly, but uh, we're getting ready to split the case. We're going to take take the cases apart right here, uh, separate the tractor front to back, and see what uh, what's going on. So we're gonna set a jack stand underneath here, block the wheels, and I will come around with a skid steer grade all or something and lift up this, this section here and pull it back and set another jack stand under it so we can take a look and see what's going on. So um, there's progress so far, but uh, the gearbox is in. Um, Apparently there's some bolts that are uh, ones busted off and have to drill out. And all the, all the bolts for the sheet metal are apparently fine thread. And my brother didn't give them back to me, so I talked to him. He's gonna go in his garage and find them. But all that's back together. I get the steering wheel on it and all that stuff. It'd be pretty good. Um, I guess I, you know, I got a minute. I'm gonna show you something else. This is a uh, this is a 2000. I think it's 13. This is an F450 pickup truck. Um, this is different. This is not a cabin chassis. This is actually a pickup truck. And if you notice there, these are not 19.5s. These are 17s. And that's what you get on a pickup truck. You get 17-inch wheels. Um, the gross vehicle weight rating. Um, it's just slightly higher than a one ton. A one ton is 13,000, and this one is 13,300. So really it's just a one ton with uh, a 450 badge on it, but it is an actual 450. That's the way they come as a pickup truck. Um, this, over here, I'll show you this one. It's another one I picked up recently. This one's a 2012, it's extended cab. Uh, those are both 6.7 diesels. This one's a cabin chassis. Uh, I took the bed off it and sold it because I didn't want it. I want a nicer bed on it. Uh, this one, this is a couple of the bigger projects we got coming up. So um, anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. We got some pretty big plans here for these other two, but um, I'll bring you back once we got this separated. This is not what you want to see. Okay, so we see the problem. If you look at them splines, you see what happens is they're twisted. So the sleeve is getting bound up on it, and that's the problem. Let's see if you can see that there. So we're going to see if we can take the whole PTO shaft out, take these bolts out, slide the shaft out, and uh, maybe just change it out with my parts tractor. But uh, yeah, this is not what you wanted to see. I mean, that's uh, that's thick. That's horrible. There's the remnants of the previous dipstick that got broke off. So anyways, we're gonna see. Let's see if you can see that real well. It's got a twist in it. Um, so we're gonna see if we can knock that out. Uh, so be right back. Okay guys, we got all this cleaned up now. Um, we took all the that nasty mess that was in there and put it in a drain bucket and I ran a magnet through it and I got absolutely no metal at all. So that was a that was a good thing. It was just all old broke down oil apparently. Um, but it's all cleaned up and ready to go. We checked the splines, I checked all the bearings, everything looks good, everything feels good. Um, with the exception of this pickup tube. Sorry about that. PTO. If you can see right here, it's got a kink in it. So I'm um, in the kink, kink right here. So I'm going to take that off the parts tractor and change it out. Um, looks like it comes out of this valve body right up here. But uh, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> At the same time, I check the sleeve and the collar for the PTO and the engine. 
with the actual main drive out of the transmission to the rear end and everything feels good, the bearings are good, there's no there's no slop, everything does what it's supposed to do. And now the shift fork will go back and forth nice and easy like it's supposed to. Um, so the next step is I'm going to take the new PT, PTO shaft out of my parts tractor and I'm going to bring it and slide it into here, make sure that the shift fork will slide back and forth like it's supposed to. And once I know it works and everything's okay, I'll take it back out. And then we'll slide the, the rear end <clears throat> up to the transmission. So we're only slide, trying to put the one shaft into the main shaft and not the PTO, trying to line all that up at one time. So uh, hopefully that'll, that'll work out well. Um, the shaft, <clears throat> out you can see it here I don't know if that's gonna show up it's just so hard to see but I mean there's a definite twist in it and <clears throat> you know the way I, th I see it is <clears throat> excuse me the only way you can get something to twist like that that big a piece of steel is high speed and an abrupt stop so I imagine he was brush hogging finish mowing whatever and hit a stump or um, you know piece of uh, block or brick or concrete or something who knows something that didn't move um, and that's how it got twisted boy it shows up better back farther you get away I guess um, but anyhow so it was stuck in between it was like in <clears throat> in neutral as far as the PTO was and you tried to slide it forward and the PTO shaft would not move the lever would not move um, and we had some trouble getting it out of there I mean when we went to go separate the two um, it took it took a good bit of pry and, and the last one of these I did, I mean we took it apart and it was I mean, fairly simple. Came apart much easier. But uh, obviously, you know, if something's on a bind, it's not gonna come apart as easier as easy if it wasn't. So but anyways, um, that's that and I've got a gasket ordered so hopefully I can pick that up tomorrow and we can get going back together. And in the meantime, uh, the old John Deere broke. This is the tensioner pulley and the bolt that goes right through here through the deck, sheared off. And uh, this will be the second time this has been replaced. And also the steering is about worn out. So I'll, uh, I'll have to mess with that. wind noise um, but uh, anyhow the, uh, the old tractor is going to have to have some work it, I can't get them fa fixed fast enough they break faster than I can get them fixed so um, I guess it's uh, that might be the first thing I do tomorrow is get this one fixed so I can get back to the moment and then get back to the other one so anyways that's all I got for now and I'll bring you guys along as we as we go thanks a lot